Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying a balloon caddis. Great little dry fly. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page. And if they want to support the channel, get access to the members only content, and be eligible for the giveaways. So I've got my hook in my vise, it's a size 14 TMCO 100BL. I've run on some UTC 70 denier, which is like an 8 hot, and hopper yellow. Right, that's a nice wee colour for this that I'm going for. But adjust it to suit, you can use brown or tan or whatever. Now for the abdomen, well, the whole body dubbing. I'm using this blend of SLF that I mix myself. I like it for a lot of caddis patterns. It's just a mix of honey, uh, the colours are dark honey, golden olive, and tan. And I've just blended them in the nearly equal parts, maybe slightly more honey. I've blended them in the coffee grinder. So I've dubbed this on and I'm going to come up and build a fairly slim, maybe slightly tapering body with the dubbing. Two thirds to three quarters of the way up. Now, if you want to, you can tighten the dubbing up by taking your thread back through. Right, you, you don't really see it but it tightens it up slightly. But you don't have to. Right, it's just an option. Any super long fibres, you can just take them away. Um, wind the thread through will probably make the fly a bit more durable, but I don't know that it's a huge difference. Now for the wing, I'm going to, I'm going to use some uh, bull elk, unbleached. It's up to you, you can use bleached hair, you can use deer hair. Entirely your choice, it's your fly. So I'm just cleaning out the butts of my hair. And then it can go in the stacker. When the tips are aligned, take them out facing the right direction. Get ready to tie them in. Spin your bobbin to cord up your thread. And then you can measure your wing. Now you can see the, the dark tips of the hair are coming right out behind the back of the hook there. I want my wing to be one and a half uh, abdomen lengths, right? Plenty long enough. So I'll take my thread, take a, a semi-tight turn, then another, and then I'm just going to come through these butts and back up. Never let go of the wing. When you do that, right? That gives you a wee caddisy wing. And then I'm going to just gather up all those butt pieces and trim them at an angle. Got to just ignore the wing at the moment. Now I'm just going to grab it again and no worry about how it's sitting. And just tidy up. And build a wee sort of tapering cone. And then you can have a look at the wing now. A couple of fibres have rolled on me, so I'll just nip them out. If you need to, you can use the scissors. It's better if you can break them away, really. But that's not too bad. Now the wing's obviously sitting a lot higher than it will in the finished fly. And now I'm ready to get my foam. So I've got this piece of ether foam or plasters wood, right? it's the sort of blocks that you get for cutting booby eyes and I've cut myself 
about three mil thick slice and I'm going to cut this slightly wider than square so it'll be about four mil wide and three mil thick I'm going to set it on the wide side right so this side that's facing you is the three mil I'll make sure my thread's at the eye of the hook and then I'm going to uncord it so it's flat this will help prevent cutting the foam and just take a loose wrap and another and another and you can just tighten that down and tie right back against the wing and let the butt end come up to your nearly at the wing there right? secure all that in place, see how you're sitting that's nice, the eye, right? so when I fold it back the eye is just in front of it I'm going to take a bit more of my dubbing Not too much, just a wee Just enough to cover the, the underside of this Sort of Thorax area A bit more Check that all around, that's fine. Now, again, make sure your thread's flat. And this is the important point here, I think. Um, quite often you see these and the folk have put the foam really tight because they want this slim line profile. That's a mistake, right? The whole point of this fly is you've got a large foam head, right? It's like an, a cad it's, it's really an emerger, right? Um, like the, this is like the, the floating, sort of exploding part of the caddis, if you imagine. But also, you can fish it as a skater, and you want a big head with plenty of buoyancy, right? So you can see there the weight of the bobbins hanging over the, the foam. And the foam's almost relaxed, there's only enough tension just to pull it back, right? What I've done is this, and gathered it in, right? So, same again, just tighten slowly, don't, don't try to gun and just tighten it because you'll slice the thread. Three or four wraps, and you can see I've got this big lump of foam, right? All of mine have put these big heads. Right, buoyancy, and you see there the wings all crushed. Don't worry about that. Right, just ignore your wing. Got to come in. Quick finish, and before I tighten up, a bit of on this one. Yeah. Don't worry if you got a blob on your foam. That's fine. You just wipe away any excess with your thumb as you tighten. Once the knot's well seated, you can see there's a wee flex in the hook there as I tighten. Trim that away. Now before I trim the foam, what I'm going to do is lift it slightly. Don't pull it hard because you you can still break it. And just sort that wing. Right. You can see there I've sort of pulled it all together and I'm going to come in with my scissor, trim away. And there I've got that nice wee neat wing lying flat, lying low. It'll be flush to the surface. The abdomen hangs under the water in the head, the foam head supports the weight. As I say, it's, it was re really designed as an emerger, although you can fish it dry as a skater or hang a small nymph behind it um, or a diving caddis pattern behind it. But it's a great wee fly. 
really, really works well and well worth having. So I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take guys. Bye.